Yo, 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 what's poppin'? It's your boy Camp the Choker checking in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, do all that shit for your boy, man. Checking in, man. Once again with another video, man. Man, I just talked to a Western Express driver, bro. He just showed me a check stub. Man, I feel so sorry for that man, bro. I can't even lie to you, bro. That man showed me what he made last week. Man, his check was five sixty-five, bro. He a company driver, bro, for Western Express. I damn near wanted to cry, man. How the fuck can you survive off $565, man? Western Express, y'all gotta do fucking better, man. For real. So, man, I told them to come down with Nationwide Cargo, bro. And, man, shit. If you looking at this video, bro, I hope that you come on over here, bro, and make some real money, bro. You feel me? He said he been driving for about three years. He was like, his record clean, so I don't know why the fuck he over there at Western Express. He could have went to Swift. He could have went to any other company out here. He went to Western Express. He said shit ain't really going good for him uh, in life. So, uh, man, to all y'all Western Express drivers, bro, like, man, get the fuck out. I'm just being real. Get the fuck out, bro. You feel me? Ain't no money over there, bro. Bro just showed me that. Ain't no money over there, bro. I can't make it up to you. How can you take care of your family making $565 in this time that we living in right now, bro? The economy so bad, bro. It was it used to be the fact where like, all right, we can survive a week off $100 as truck drivers, bro. That shit not working, bro. You you need at least 250 just for truck stop food, you know? It's bad out here and he showed me a check stub. His shit was like 500 and some dollars. He worked a whole week. You feel me? And he, I think he ran like about 2,500 miles. You know, I had to get the old juice. I'm like, bro, you had to not run no miles. He showed me the chick stuff. I'm like, bro, just come to Nationwide Cargo, bro. I'm like, I think they'll fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? If everything on the up and up falls with your MVR and shit, man, get out right now. You feel me? So, man, if y'all like these companies, man, and ain't making no money, bro, get out. I'm just being real. Don't give them people your time. You ain't doing nothing but wasting time. I mean, fuck the experience and shit. Any company I hire you with no experience, you know? It's just all about talking to them and, and just telling them, like, hey, man, I'm ready to work, bro. I'm ready to work. You feel me? Like, all these Western Expresses, Trans Am. I used to work for Trans Am. They were paying, like, 31 cents a mile. I think they still is paying 31 cents a mile. Like, man, you can't survive off $500, $600 checks in this economy that we living in right now? Fuck no. Nah. You at least need to be pulling in a hundred thousand a year just to be, just to break even, you know. So man, like over here you can break a hundred thousand. I think I'm at like one sixty five for the year so far. And mind you, uh, for like three or four months I was bullish and I really wasn't even running hard to be real. So I think I'm at like one sixty five, one hundred sixty five thousand dollars for the year, uh, so far. And uh, I'm just trying to finish out hard, man, but. Man, if you at a company and you ain't making no money, man, do your research and get the fuck on up out of there, for real. So, man, if any Western Express driver that see this video, man, look at some of my old videos. Like, man, we really securing the bag, bro. I don't like seeing people go through that with these companies, fool, because our time is more valuable than the paycheck. You feel me? At least be compensated for your time. Like, man, if you spending three weeks or two weeks out here at a time, ain't no way you shouldn't be pulling in $1,500 to $2,500 a week. I'm just saying, it's just me. You know what I'm saying? And he, he like, shit, I'll be out here two, three weeks at a time. I'm like, damn, G, you making 500 some dollars? Hell no, nah, G, like, you trucking backwards at this point. So, man, just, I don't know, man. I, I just I just feel bad, honestly, man. I just got to get this out to drivers. Maybe some drivers going through the same shit that I'm talking about. Bro, get out, bro. Don't waste your time at these companies and they ain't paying you the bag. You feel me? Like you risking your life, your time, your your time away from your kids, your family, your your fiance, your girl. Like it just ain't worth it for no pennies, man. For no pennies. Like we can't be getting the pennies, man. We gotta be securing the bag and we out here two or three weeks at a time. You know? So man, if you see this video, man, I hope this motivates you to get the fuck away from the company that you at and go secure the bag. Whether that's with any company, bro. Any company that ain't paying you the bag, get the fuck. Go find you somebody that's paying more. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you just got to be stuck in that situation for a little minute, then you, you got to do what you got to do. 
But man, y'all be safe out here, man. I'm just checking in with another video. It was just on my heart to get that out there because I feel like God didn't place us in the same place for no reason. So man, I talked to him, shot him some game, showed him some shit. And man, she hopefully make the best decision for him. You know, uh, I understand with this trucking shit, everybody's journey ain't gonna be the same as my journey and, and, and et cetera, et cetera. But man, it's about money, bro. If these companies ain't paying you, bro, get the fuck. I mean, your time is more precious than anything. Like you risking your life every day you wake up on this road because you never know what's around the corner, you know? But man, y'all be safe out here. Just checking in with another video. Peace.